Which one What's is your it? problem? What's huh? your problem? You say what? Speak louder. She's mine. She's yours. Who are you? How long have you been living in her? All her life. So you, you, you can't use physical strength to stop her. Okay? She can only be stopped by the strength of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command you, come here. Come. Hey. Come here, come here. Come here. Come. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command you, come here. Come here. Take her if you dare. You say what? Take her if you dare. Dare try. Try. Huh? Try. You say what? Try and take her. Try. Jesus Christ Try. is taking her now. Try. In the name of Jesus Christ, I call fire from heaven. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, watch the power of Jesus Christ in action. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And for the camera purposes, can you please tell us your name and where you're from? Gladys from Pasco, Washington. Awesome. Gladys, can you please share your testimony with us? What, was, what were the things you were struggling with? Um, before the conference, I used to have dreams in where I would like see people that like I worked with, like people I can't stand at work. Like they kind of get on my nerves. And then I would see myself making love to them in my dreams. And it's just like other people that... I had relationships with in the past. I see them as well. And I had, um, I used to isolate myself to the point where I was thinking of moving back home. And I didn't tell my mentor, I didn't tell anyone, because I was like, if I tell someone, then they're going to talk me out of it. So I isolated myself and was looking for like plane tickets. And I decided, I planned everything out. I planned it all out. And then. Now that's with the fact that you sacrificed so much, left everything where you were from and moved to Tri-Cities, right? Yes. Can you elaborate on that point, please? So before I, um, it was about five months ago, I left Florida to come to the Tri-Cities and I felt like God was telling me to move to the Tri-Cities. And as soon as I got here, I used to just isolate myself and just think that, okay, well, I guess it's time for me to move back home. I, I got it. I'm ready to move back home. And um, two days before the conference, I was told the word, the bad thing about it is I would only talk to people who I know would agree with what I was doing. So <laughs> what I did was um, I told my friend, I was like, Hey, I'm thinking about coming back home. And she was just like, awesome. And so what we did um, is that I told her, but I didn't tell everyone that I was going back home. And then two days before the conference, I was like, okay, God, I feel like you're telling me to go back home. <laughs> and then like two days before the conference, I had a dream. It was like two seconds and it was just like, this is where I brought you. This is where you're supposed to stay. And I woke up and I'm like, dang it. Like, I, cause I was convinced that I was going back home. And so what happened during the Monday service uh, with the apostle John Chi? Um, I came here and then um, we were sitting in the back and then we came for the prayer line. So I came and then apostle started praying for someone else and then I just wanted to get away from him and then I started manifesting that I was a spiritual husband and this that and third what did you feel during your deliverance not myself like I don't remember mainly like what happened mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay and so after your deliverance how do you feel right now what changes do you see in your life I don't have those dreams anymore um <laughs> I don't want to go back home <laughs> So you decided to stay for good? I decided to, <laughs> I decided to stay. And um, I'm like trying to be um, more open with my mentor because I would just close myself off and just, I wouldn't talk to Alexandra at all. And then so now I call her, I'm like, Alexandra, I'm trying to be more open with you. So I think I have something to tell you. So <laughs> Awesome, awesome. Let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ. Gladys, we thank you. We thank God so much for your deliverance. And would you please uh, share a word of advice to people who might be uh, in need of deliverance or struggling with some things you were struggling with? What can you tell them? 
I have two things. Um, the first one is a lot of people think that sex in the dreams is kind of like normal and they think that there's nothing wrong with it. And obviously there's a problem. There's a spiritual problem behind it. Secondly is don't isolate yourself and make decisions based off what you have thought about and just talk to people who you know have your best interest at heart and not just want you to just come back home and just be comfortable. So, Thank you so much. Thank you, Gladys, for sharing your testimony.